In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install data packs for Minecraft 1.21.4 on your Mac. The first thing we need to do is to open our web browser, or you want to go to a modern website of your choice, and for this example, I'm going to use modroof.com. Once you're here, you want to scroll down and you want to click on Discover Mods, and then you want to click on the data packs tab at the very top. Now you simply want to go ahead and choose a data pack you want to use. Now I recommend filtering these by Minecraft version, so let's scroll down here until you find game version, and you want to select 1.21.4. Now they've been filtered, we can go ahead and select a data pack. In this example, I'm going to use this timber data pack, so we're going to click onto it. And once you're inside the data packs page, you want to click on the versions tab, and then you want to find the version for Minecraft 1.21.4, which is this one. However, it's important that the platform says data pack. So if we keep scrolling down here, this one says data pack, and it's also for Minecraft 1.21.x. Now to make it easier to filter things, you want to scroll up, and you want to click on the platform drop down menu, or you want to select the data pack. You can also do the same thing with game version. Now we've done this and we've found the correct one, you want to click into it. Then you want to go ahead and click the green download button, and you want to save the data pack to your desktop. Now we've downloaded our data pack, we just need to install it. So to do this you want to open your Minecraft launcher, and you want to make sure you've selected 1.21.4. Once Minecraft has loaded, there are two ways to install a data pack. The first way is to install it onto an existing world, and the second way is to install it onto a fresh, brand new world. So to install the data pack to an existing world, we first want to go ahead and select the world we want to install it to. Once we've done this you want to click on edit at the bottom, and then you want to click on open world folder, and it should appear. Now you want to click into the data packs folder, and we simply want to drag and drop our downloaded data pack into the data pack folder. Now we've done this, we can exit out of the folder, and then you want to click on save. Now the data pack has been installed, you simply want to go ahead and play that world. So as you can see, I've just opened my existing world, and our data pack should be activated straight away. So to test it, if I go ahead and chop down this tree, it should destroy the rest of the tree with it. And as you can see, the data pack is working as intended. Now if it is not working for some reason, you want to press T, and then you want to type forward slash reload, and it will reload all of the data packs you have installed. If it is still not working, you want to go ahead and restart Minecraft. To install data packs to a fresh new world, we first want to go ahead and create a new world, just as we normally would. And in the world creation screen, you want to click on the more tab at the very top, and then you want to click on data packs. Now you want to click on open data pack folder, and the temporary new folder should appear. Now we simply want to drag and drop our downloaded data packs into this folder. Now we've done that, we can exit out of it, and it should appear in Minecraft. Now we need to click on this arrow icon to move it from the available column to the selected column like this. Now the data pack has been enabled, you want to click on done, and you want to go ahead and create your new world, just as you normally would. As you can see, I've just created my fresh new world, and I've just gave myself a wooden pickaxe. So if I go ahead and chop down a wooden block from this tree, it should destroy the rest with it. And as you can see, the data pack is working as intended, and I can go ahead and start playing Minecraft, just as I normally would. Now again, if this isn't working for some reason, you want to press T, or you want to type forward slash reload, and it'll reload all of your data packs. If it's still not working, you simply want to go ahead and restart Minecraft. And that's it, so if this video was helpful, please leave a like, and if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.